Hey everyone, welcome to Website Maker. Today I'll be showing you how you can create your own custom header and footer. So this is a default header and footer, right? I'm going to show you how you can turn to this. So you will have your own custom header and footer, right? So let's get started. So let's go to your dashboard and click on this plugin and click on this add new. We'll be installing a plugin called Elementor header footer All right let's search for that and then click on this install now and we'll, we'll be also installing this uh, plugin the element kit right and then activate this and then we'll also activate this element kit light right and once you activate both of them, go to this appearance and click on this element to head and footer. And then now we'll create a new uh, header. So I'm just going to give this a name uh, header. And then I'll select this to header, right? And then we'll display this on our entire website, right? So let me show you our default um, header, right? So this is our default uh, footer, right? And this is our default header. So, in order to replace this, we need to display this on our entire website. So it's gonna overwrite uh, all this, right? So let's up, uh, let's pub publish this, and then now uh, let's click on this add edit with Elementor. and you can actually build this from scratch right you can just click on this and you can start um, creating uh, your header from scratch but i'm not gonna do that so i'll just choose on this and we will use a pre-built header so we will save a lot of time for you know making our own right so i'm just gonna choose one of these right so this these are free but some of them are not free so let's say if you see go premium these are not free but I'm just gonna choose the free one so I'll click on this insert right and then now we have this uh, ready uh, the element right so we have this social media and also this our uh, menu so I'm just gonna select the menu primary menu right and then we can also change our icon, right? Um, and I'm just gonna change the background to black background, right? And then I'm just gonna change the logo to my the logo, right? Just gonna I'm just gonna choose the white uh, colors logo. So I'm just gonna choose this. And then now we have this logo. And then uh, I'm just gonna give this uh, layout, right? So right now it's in full width, right? I'm just gonna change this to box, so we have this, right? I don't want it to be like full width, so yeah. Let's click. Let's click on this update. And then now, uh, let's go to our dashboard, and then let's go to our home page right and then now you will see our new uh, menu here so this is our default uh, menu right so right now it's overriding the uh, default one right so this is how you can create your own custom header but now I'm, I'm also going to show you how you can override this uh, footer so let's go back to our dashboard and let's click on this appearance and click on this header and footer right and then we'll add a new one and I'm just gonna select this to footer right and I'll display this on the entire website and then I'm just gonna give this a name to footer right and then I'm just gonna publish this and then click on edit with Elementor like I said you can also build this from scratch right but you can also use a pre bell one right you can select this to footer but in this case uh, we don't have a free 
one so I think I will have to create from scratch right so I click on that and then I'm just gonna give this to full width and then I'm just gonna select in a section right I wanted to have this to uh, four column so I'm just gonna duplicate this column so right now we have this four column right and then I'm just gonna add the logo right drag this and drop here and then I'm just gonna select the black logo and I'm just gonna adjust this to left right and then now I'm just gonna give the text here right and then and then I'm just gonna adjust uh, something here right I'm just gonna adjust this to 30 right 30% which is so we have more space for this column and then this one I'm just gonna give to 22 and this width I'm also gonna give 22 and the rest can be like that right and now I want to adjust this uh, padding a little bit here so that it will be you know the same with the local padding right I'm just gonna give this to like 10 or maybe 12 right so it's like the, the padding are like the same so it's make your design look a little bit more better so yeah and I'm just gonna add heading here and I'm just gonna name this to um, information right I mean you can name this to anything right but I'm just gonna name this to information and then I'm gonna change this to uh, the size to maybe 24 right and then the the transform to uppercase right and then I'm just gonna make this to this and then now I'm just gonna add the icon list here because I want to add the menu to here right so I'm just gonna adjust this we don't need this icon so I'm just gonna take this off and then I'm just gonna name this to home right and then I'm just gonna name this to about and then I'm just gonna name this to um, service services right and then I'm just gonna duplicate this and then maybe I should name this um, contact right and then the last one uh, what should I name this maybe I'm just gonna name this to app AQ right and then we'll give some space between them right maybe 10 and then I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste it here right and then I'm just gonna name this to um, let's say support right and then I'm just gonna name this to maybe hub right so it's gonna be something that has to do with the support right but yeah you can name it any cow you want right but you kind of get the idea so and then I'm also going to copy this All right and then I'm gonna paste it here and then I'm just gonna name this to contact All right and then the same thing I'm just gonna copy copy this and then add it here and then I'm just gonna name this to uh, I'm just gonna put the email here right so it could be your company emails or you know so I'm just gonna type this and then now we'll add social media icon right so let's just add it here and then I'm just gonna adjust the side and right make it to circle and I'm just gonna adjust it to smaller side right maybe 15 and then now we will we will add a new section 
we can just copy this and we can duplicate this right and then I'm just gonna delete all this because we will add the copyright uh, right so let me delete all this and then I'm just gonna type this um, say copyright at your company dot com right company 2021 yeah something like that right and then now I'm just gonna give the border right I'm just gonna make this the just gonna adjust a little bit here just give this top to one and the color to this so we have something like this right and then now then now we can actually I'm just gonna adjust the padding a little bit so this will be the same line with this right yeah I'm just gonna do the same thing right so we'll have the same line with this local right and then mobile responsive we can also do this right so it's look uh, okay now and then I'm just gonna give a bit of padding here right maybe something like this I think it's look all good now so I'm just gonna update this and then I'm just going to refresh this right so you will see that will replace this so now the footer is replaces here but the color is kind of like uh, something so I'll change this color to black right so let me change this to black colors and then let me adjust the icon the I mean the logo so I'm just gonna change this to the white logo and then I'm just gonna change the colors of the text right and then the same thing right let's change the text colors to white and then I'm just gonna copy this and I can paste the style right so it's gonna be this white colors and same thing with this and now we have this black uh, background colors so I'm also adjust this padding a little bit so that it will be same you know same padding with the top one so this makes this 7 or 8 right then I'm just gonna update this and then now uh, if we refresh this one it's gonna change to the back uh, black background right so now it's cool now we're done with this so yeah that's how easy it is so thank you for watching guys be sure to like and subscribe to my channel there'll be a lot more tutorial coming up soon